Good morning, everyone. It's Friday, November 24th. I'm Karen Jordan and for Judy Sue this morning. Good to have you with us again, Karen. Thanks. Great to be here. I'm Jose Sanders. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to ABC 7 News this morning. We start, as always, weather information from Tracy Butler. Hi, Tracy. Hey, you guys. Real good morning to you. And for those who are just getting ready to head out the door, you will not need your heavy coat today as you go shopping. Now, this morning, we have a few cold spots. This afternoon, however, if you're not planning to get out till later today to uh, some of the local shopping destinations, we're going to be up around 60 degrees today. But if you're headed out around Aurora, 27 degrees out that way, it's 30 degrees right now in Joliet, 36 degrees at O'Hare, and 35 degrees currently in Gary. Skies are clear out there right now. You don't need to bring any rain gear with you today. We'll have a look at your complete forecast coming up. But I know when I was driving in listening to the radio, I heard a lot of high travel times on the way to some of the outlet malls. Tom Johnson is here to tell us more about traffic. Tom, is there any traffic? There is traffic out there this morning, Tracy, and a lot of people have been up very, very early. A lot of volume on the roadways this morning and a couple of accidents to tell you about also. Northbound on I-55 right by Route 53. A rollover just occurred right now. It's taking out the left lane, so use extra caution there. Also, we're working an accident in the Grays Lake area right now, and that accident is over by Drury and Rowling this morning, and we're looking at, uh, we're looking at delays in that area. And as we mentioned, a heavy volume of traffic right now on the roadways, and we're looking uh, like we'll see a pretty hefty morning with a lot of people heading out to the shopping areas. Karen, Jose? All right, Tom, thank you very much. Right now, it's one minute before 5 o'clock, and first this half hour, violent end to a hostage standoff on the city's south side. Police say the standoff in the 6900 block of South Jeffrey ended nearly 24 hours after it began with two people dead. ABC 7's Charles Thomas has the story. On the latest, Charles. Karen, uh, Jose, good morning. Uh, Chicago police tried, uh, but they just couldn't get it done uh, in this hostage situation, which again, as you mentioned, ended tragically this morning, about four hours ago, when a the gunman and his 22-year-old hostage uh, were both found dead uh, inside uh, the apartment here in the 6900 block of South Jeffrey. We should say they were mortally wounded, rushed to a hospital uh, where they were where they were pronounced dead. Now the details of how this ended just after one o'clock this morning are still somewhat vague. Police report hearing a gunshot from the apartment at five minutes past one o'clock, about four hours ago. They say that's when they sent their SWAT team into the building and they fired a so-called flash bang grenade. Uh, they say they never fired any bullets. Uh, upon entering the building, they found the gunman and his 22-year-old hostage mortally wounded. Uh, police say they are still trying to determine if there was any relationship between the man and the woman. Uh, her family insists there was none. Uh, this all began early Sunday, early uh, Thursday morning, Thanksgiving Day, about 1.30 in the morning when the gunman, uh, the suspect, apparently complained about a baby crying in the apartment above him. Uh, at that point, he barged into that apartment. Uh, the woman and the child were able to escape. Uh, other people inside that uh, building were able to escape. But then he reportedly broke down the door of this 22-year-old woman who apparently, uh, her family says, had nothing at all uh, to do with him. That's when the hostage standoff began. It lasted again until uh, 1.30 this morning uh, when police uh, heard that gunshot and rushed the building. They went inside and again found the gunman and the, and the hostage uh, mortally wounded. Uh, the woman, her name has not been released, nor has uh, the suspect's name uh, been released. Her family, though, uh, says she was 22 years old. Uh, she had lived in that building for about two years, and they say she had no relationship at all uh, with this man. Uh, police would not comment on his mental condition. They say they had contact uh, with the gunman and the hostage uh, for the 24 hours uh, that, that, that the negotiations here uh, continued. Uh, but again, this ended very tragically uh, five minutes 
past one o'clock this morning, about four hours ago, uh, when police went inside the apartment, uh, the scene, and they found the gunman and his uh, female hostage, 22 years old, uh, both dead. Uh, reporting live from the south side, Charles Thomas, ABC 7 News. Jose Karen, back to you. All right, Charles, very sad story. Thank you for that. In other news, police are questioning a young woman in the stabbing death of a 12-year-old south side girl. Police say it began as some kind of argument near 73rd and Claremont last night. That argument turned deadly when the 18-year-old woman stabbed the 12-year-old with a knife. The child was rushed to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Police say the suspect also stabbed the victim's 16-year-old sister in the arm. Charges are now pending. Chicago police are looking for men who sexually assaulted a woman on the north side. It happened early Thanksgiving morning in the 3100 block of North Seminary. Investigators say the woman was walking alone when a man forced her into an alley. Police tell women living in the area to be aware of their surroundings and to avoid poorly lit areas. Women are also warned not to walk alone, especially late at night and during the early morning hours. Our other top story this morning, it is Black Friday, the traditional start of the holiday shopping season. But this year, many shoppers are getting a very early start. Hey. Cop USA in Skokie actually opened last night. And within a few minutes, one rack full of electronic gadgets was wiped out as these shoppers fill their shopping baskets and carts. The store was only open from 9 p.m. until midnight. The hundreds of shoppers who jammed this store say they were drawn to the big sales on electronics and computers, accessories, and the software to go with it. Also long lines at a couple of stores in neighboring Niles. Hours before they were even to open, shoppers brought out lawn chairs to wait outside the Walmart. The line outside the nearby Best Buy store was just as long. A number of shoppers broke out their sleeping bags and some gamers brought along their video game consoles to kill the hours before the doors opened i came here to get a bluetooth for my phone and a compact laptop first time i've done first time i've done this and it only store that opens at night time uh, i've been waiting here for two and a half hours i'm hoping to get some bluetooth for my family and this is my first year my first time i'll probably do it again next year hopefully i'll be off from work <laughs> Meantime, a number of area malls opened in the early morning hours in West Suburban Aurora. Police have been busy since late last night dealing with a long line of cars streaming into the Chicago Premium Outlet Mall. Several stores opened at midnight offering some deep discounts, and those stores will be busy until closing later tonight. With the mall's parking lot already jammed full of shoppers, Ronald Reagan Tollway's exit ramp leading to the outlet mall was backed up. Take a look at that. Well, Chopper 7 is uh, live over Forest Park, the Walmart at Roosevelt and First Avenue. As you can see, police are out in force uh, taking a look at that busy, busy scene this morning. Look at all the people jamming that parking lot. We'll continue to bring you all the latest pictures from this busy, busy Friday morning throughout our newscast. In other news this morning, there is no let up in the Iraq violence. A day after 200 people died in car bombings and mortar attacks. Police say a car bomb in the, in the northern Iraqi city of Talafar today killed at least 22 people and wounded 26. Meantime, funeral processions are underway for those killed in yesterday's violence in Baghdad's largest Shiite district. It's the deadliest suicide attack since the war began. Baghdad remains under a 24-hour curfew aimed at stopping widespread sectarian violence in the capital. Police guarded the Shiite processions carrying victims of Thursday's attacks by Sunni Muslims insurgents in Sadr City. They were killed in five car bombs, three by suicide drivers, two in parked cars and fired mortars. The deployment hit Iraq did not stop one Northwest Indiana soldier from celebrating Thanksgiving with his family. The Kenzie family in Highland, Indiana, was glued to their television as technology united <laughs> them with their second. loved one thousands of miles away in the war zone. Sergeant Eric Kenzie is an intelligent analyst who works 12 hours a day with Sundays off. He enlisted in the Army in August of 2001. The Defense Department helped set up this Thanksgiving satellite link with Kenzie. He's expected home on leave in March. <laughs> 
let's check in with Tracy Butler to see how our weather's shaping up out there today. No problems. Great. I mean, no weather. It, very easy to get to your destination today, <laughs> weather-wise. At least the weather. -wise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tom can tell you all the traffic uh, <laughs> issues, but my goodness. Uh, this morning, as you're getting ready to head out the door, if you're getting ready to head out the door, maybe you're going to be like me and just kind of stay at home after... I complete my work shift here this morning. Uh, super shopping weather, clear skies this morning. We will have mild temperatures, especially this afternoon. For the most part, I think you can leave that heavy coat at home. You won't have to lug it around the mall with you because outside this afternoon, we are going to have temperatures around 60 degrees. This morning, we have some chilly numbers. Our average high today is 43, average low is 28. It is 35 degrees right now at O'Hare. So if you're getting ready to leave your house right now to head somewhere, well, it's 31 Waukegan, 30 in Aurora, 30 degrees in Joliet. So we do have some colder numbers. Uh, you may want to sneak that coat in while you're headed to your destination earlier this morning. Right now, lots of warmth, really, as we get farther to the west, as well as down toward Peoria. It's 42 degrees there. Even not bad in Green Bay right now, where it's 34. It's 25 degrees currently in Detroit. But a check on the northeast. If you know anybody in the northeast, or maybe you're visiting Chicago and you have to fly back to the northeast today, well, the rain is easing up in Manhattan. It's just on the, ex the eastern extent of Long Island right now, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket. They are getting some rain still in Boston. They are getting some rain right now, too. Meanwhile, in the Pacific Northwest, a pretty big storm system moving there. Interior sections of the Rockies getting some rather heavy snow from Seattle to Portland. They are getting some rain there. So if you have to head out on a flight that direction this morning, know that there is some inclement weather out that way. As for us, we're just going to keep it sunny around here throughout the day today. Nice and warm, too. I wouldn't be surprised that tomorrow we do wake up to a little bit of fog. Clear and calm out there this morning. Well, bright sunshine again here this afternoon. Look at that high temperature. I'm going for 60 today. As for the clear skies this morning, they will stay with us and all of a sudden it's dark. Hmm. Uh -uh. Let me see if I can get that seven day. We're uh, here for you, Tracy. Uh, We're please here. Okay, stick just around. A seven day forecast Don't looking eat. pretty good. It's going to be a good shopping day as Tracy uh, <laughs> continues to work her computers. That's no right. heavy coats will be needed as we head to the shopping malls. <laughs> we can't tell you too much else. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Very quick. You're awesome. <laughs> wow. Go ahead. Go ahead, Anchorman. You uh, finished that. And you're actually you... calling for uh, 60 today. I am. That is very good meteorology. <laughs> Just hat you have on there. You've learned yeah, right. a lot. It's like the tap dance. <laughs> <laughs> Come uh, listen to Tracy. Anyway. Oh, uh, well, it is still dark spot. outside. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice weather today. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> Time to check in with Tom and see where all that congestion is. That's, you can just about tell you, huh? Well, the good news is it's not on the major arteries right now. It's mostly in the parking lots, but we do have a couple of problems on the expressways. One of those is Northbound I-55 right at Route 53 where a rollover takes out the left lane and you can see a little backup on the rubber road area most of the way through this accident scene this morning. Let's go out to Chopper 7 right now. They're over the Eisenhower. And as we mentioned, not much of an issue this morning on the major roadways. You can see a lot of volume. There are a lot of early morning travelers and shoppers out there, but no major congestion. As we check out our travel times this morning, the numbers remain nice and low. You won't encounter any problems at all on the Kennedy Expressway. Same story with the Edens, even around Old Orchard right now. If you're traveling on the Ike, no issues there. Same story for the Stevenson. The Rhine has additional lanes open now, so that's not even a problem at under well, let's uh, make it under 16 minutes. Usually we would say under 20, but let's take full advantage of those <laughs> low numbers here. Why not? You know, enjoy them while you can. And just a, just a reminder, as you're out there doing this early morning travel or moving from place to place, because a lot of people are also traveling, mm -hmm. don't forget there's a huge enforcement on seatbelt safety oh, over the weekend, local and mm -hmm. state. So watch out. And they're doing it overnight now. Overnight yeah, yeah. stops, zero yeah. tolerance. You will get a ticket if it's not clicked up. Click it, take it. Click it or <laughs> Thanks, Tom. <laughs> it's 11 minutes after 5 ahead. Millions of us will get those gift cards this holiday season. Why experts say it's important not to wait too long to cash them in. And then at 5.30, why Macy's first holiday season in Chicago will be met with protests. Unbelievable.
Tonight's Value City's After Thanksgiving Doorbusters, Friday, 5 a.m. to noon only. Save 20 to 90% off department store prices. All jeans, buy one, get one 50% off. Young Bin's Brooklyn Express Jackets, $14.99. PlayStation 2 and Xbox Video Games, $4.99. And Illusion Solitaire Diamond Earrings, $99.99. Plus, the first 500 customers of Value City get $10 off a $20 purchase. It all starts Friday at 5 a.m. Value City. Drop everything. It's our biggest after Thanksgiving sale ever. Get to Wix now, where you'll find every room package on sale store-wide with savings up to 40%. Plus, this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Wix pays your sales tax. With Friday and Saturday hours, 8 a.m. to midnight, we've dropped everything. Prices, everything. Get zero payments till 2008 or zero interest till 2011. A sale so big, Wix pays your sales tax. Three days only. Edward Hospital in Naperville. For people who don't like hospitals, call 630-527-MDMD to find a doctor. It's cellophon time. Now at River Oaks Toyota. Every new Toyota at our lowest prices of the year. Get cellophon savings on new 07 Camrys, Corollas, 4Runners, and more. Cellophon savings on every certified used Toyota. 0% APR on selected new and certified used Toyota. Factory cash up to $3,000. On the spot financing. Get a Camry for $15,696. A Corolla for $13,996. Take your choice. Buy an 06 Sienna or an 06 Highlander for just $2.99 a month. Buy it for just $2.99 a month. It's cellophon time. Now at River Oaks Toyota. The easy guys in Calumet City. Got it. The Beats had some cataracts. The sheep don't like it. Lock the cash box. Is he saying stop the cat box? Stop the cat box. You don't have to understand your music to understand how to get it all from your PC to your phone. Only Singular lets you take ripped, purchased, and even subscription music on the new Singular Sync. Only $49.99. Stop the cat box. Singular, raising the bar. Why are so many stores opening earlier than usual this Black Friday and why you shouldn't wait too long to use those gift cards? Well, these stories in our first second of the financial markets. Uni Hyde joins us live from New York with our Money Scope report. Good morning, Uni. Good to see you. Good, good morning, Jose. Likewise, well, it's all about Black Friday today and all the shopping madness going on. Now, the reason why retailers are opening their doors extra, extra early this year is because holiday sales are expected to be weaker as consumers are concerned about economic growth. Meanwhile, gift cards are hot this holiday season, but the National Retail Federation encourages consumers to use those cards within a year. Unused gift cards can qualify as abandoned property in some states. That means the government can take that money from retailers depending on local law. Now, most laws do allow two to three years for gift card redemption. And checking on market numbers, starting with overseas, the Nikkei fell just over 1% overnight. Back in the U.S., stocks will close early today at 1 p.m. The Dow and the Nasdaq both gaining slightly on Wednesday. And gold getting a dollar to 631 and 30 cents. For ABC 7 News, I'm Business Week reporter Yuni Han. Jose Yuni. and Karen, back to you. Thank you, ma'am. Good to see you once again. It's now 515. Weather and traffic coming up next. Also, we'll have Chopper 7 HD flying live over the Chicago area shopping centers as the holiday shopping center kicks off. Wow, look at this. Look at all those cars. Taxi. Hey, you have Comcast. Enlighten me. You know that feeling of being connected to a universal bliss exploding with energy that as it explodes inward creates dimensions of bliss within itself? I still have a dish. Order the Comcast Triple Play. Phone, internet, and cable TV. Just $33 each per month for 12 months when you get all three. Are you enlightened? Call 1-888-4-BEST-TV. Now you can, you can, you can. Live the life without paying the price this holiday. Only at Home Goods. Express the spirit of the season at spectacular savings. Show off your style from the tree of your dreams to your holiday table. Put Christmas in every corner. At Home Goods, find the unique, the exceptional, the best ways to decorate and more. Make this the merriest holiday ever at Savings You'll Celebrate. Live the life without paying the price. Only at Home Goods. 
After you travel the globe, making history, unveiling the seven new wonders of the world, what do you ever do for an encore? How about revealing the all-new eighth wonder? Americans voted on what the eighth new wonder should be. And this morning, it's unveiled live only on Good Morning America. Give your home the gift of new carpet this holiday season and save 50%. Call Empire today during our Home for the Holidays sale. We'll bring samples right to your home, where it's easy to match colors and styles to your decor. And we'll install your new carpet next day. You'll save 50% and make no payments until 2008. You'll even get a free turkey. So call Empire today. Give your home the gift of new carpet and save 50% now. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE Today. on this Friday morning. Good morning to you. Take a look at the numbers right now at O'Hare. It's 35 degrees. 40 at Midway, 42 now at the lakefront, 41 degrees currently in Gary. And as you look at your seven day, you'll be looking at lots of sunshine today and a high temperature of 60 degrees. And tomorrow, still holding on to some very nice weather conditions, expecting a high temperature here tomorrow of 50 seven degrees. Let's check in with Tom Johnson now. Tom. Good morning, Trace. A couple of problems out there. One in Gray's Lake at Rawlings Road shut down between Drury and Hook with an accident. That involves a light pole that's down, so that could be there for quite some time. Also, we've told you about that northbound I-55 problem, and that remains intact. The left lane is out at Route 53 with a rollover accident. They're working to clear that out. As we go out to Chopper 7 this morning, take a look outside. You can see the expressways and tollways are both moving very well. This is near 88 and 350 this morning. Most of the cars are already in parking lots somewhere. Jose? All right, Tom, thank you. Well, on Thanksgiving, many volunteers took time out to help the less fortunate. Breakfast was served at the Chicago Christian Industrial League's new location in Roosevelt. People from Chicago's North Lawndale neighborhood dined on a hearty breakfast of eggs and sausage and biscuits, looking really good. Industrial League also served up lunch for the folks later in the day. An early Thanksgiving dinner was also served at the Haymarket Center on West Washington. An estimated 650 people ate a hearty meal there. Haymarket was founded in 1975 by Monsignor Ignatius McDermott and Dr. James West. The Substance Abuse Treatment Center has grown now to serve more than 16,000 clients every year. Some people started off their Thanksgiving holiday by burning off a few calories. The 29th annual Turkey Trot, Run, Walk, and Dash was held in Lincoln Park. It's the 29th year for the event. A record 5,500 runners turned out, and the event raised about $10,000 for the Greater Chicago Food Depository. It is 519 now, and ahead, the Bears spend part of their Thanksgiving at work getting ready for a big game on Sunday. And then at 530, the Thanksgiving Every day escape made high over Times Square. Weather and traffic on the sevens brought to you by your Chicagoland Jeep dealers only in a Jeep. The new model year is off to a great start at the Jeep Premier event. The new four door Wrangler Unlimited just arrived alongside the all new Jeep Compass. They joined Liberty with the government's highest side crash test rating. Jeep Commander with three rows of seating and Grand Cherokee, part of the most award-winning brand of 4x4s. Well-qualified buyers get 0% financing for 60 months or generous cash allowances on 06 Commander and Grand Cherokee. See Commander, Grand Cherokee, and much more at the Jeep Premier event. Get your holiday shopping finished in one day at the Carson's after Thanksgiving sale. Start by checking Thursday's paper for a $10 gift card good on Friday from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. Carson's, even the price looks nice. Tonight at 10, sizzling, sautéing, serving, touching, and tasting. ABC 7's Steve Dolinsky shows you how to get your hands on some delicious Ethiopian food. The Hungry Hounds Friday Night Special, tonight at 10. Stay calm. We're going to save you. Stop freaking out. Hop into the basket one at a time. Save some cabbage. Sign up for Comcast Digital Voice for just $39.95 a month, every month. With unlimited local and long distance plus voicemail, you'll save $197 a year over AT&T. Just call 1-888-4-BEST-TV today. Comcast Digital Voice. It's Comcastic. 
Salma Hayek, the new it girl she wants you to meet. I just completely fell in love with her. By Force Whitaker has me and Oscar buzzing and the latest from Grammy winner John Legend, next Oprah. Today at 9, only on ABC7. With doorbusters like these, you'll have lots of reasons to be thankful at the Carson's after Thanksgiving sale. Doors open Friday at 5 a.m. with doorbusters good from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. Carson's, even the price looks nice. Sports weekend in town for us. We match up against one of NFL's top teams this weekend. The Bears spent Thanksgiving on the practice field. With the morning sports, here's ABC 7's Jim Rose. Good morning, everyone. Bear players and coaches sat back and rested after a practice yesterday morning and then turkey dinner at home last night. Sunday, they'll travel to New England to see if they can carve up those Patriots. ABC 7's Ryan Cheverini has more on yesterday's workout and a turkey day invite from the coach. It may be Thanksgiving, but the Bears still went to work today, getting ready for the Patriots, and Lovey Smith was extremely pleased with this team's effort today. Great practice for us. Normally, you don't have good practices on a, you know, the practice before holiday, but we had an excellent day today. You can expect to see a low-scoring matchup on Sunday. The Bears have allowed the fewest points in the NFL, while the Patriots lead the AFC in scoring defense. And both teams are coming off shutout victories last week. Having the top two defenses collide, you know, it, it should be a pretty good game. So I guess that's why they moved to the 315. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday, it's all business. But today after practice, the Bears had their minds on one thing. Turkey. <laughs> Dressing. Wow. I mean, it's just food. I'm going to try to eat as much as I can. And then I'll be right in here with Rusty Jones trying to run it off. <laughs> I just wanted to know if you're doing the cooking. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, my, I'm, of course, my wife is an excellent cook. There was a rumor that we were all invited to your house. You're always invited to the Smith's house. <laughs> Address is uh, 1000 Football Drive. <laughs> <laughs> now, this should be good. 1000 Football Drive. 1000 Football Drive. Lovey got us again. At Hallis Hall without turkey or stuffing. Ryan Cheverini, ABC 7 News. That's our look at sports. I'm Jim Rose. Good morning, everyone. Ryan, we saw that one coming. Yeah, right. <laughs> we'll have much more ahead for you at 5.30, including latest from the busy malls and shopping center as Black Friday kicks off this holiday shopping season. But first, an update on our top story, a violent end to a 24-hour hostage standoff on Chicago's south side. Can't quite swing a guy's night out? Then it's time to treat the boys to a guy's night in during the Great Escape's Great Game Room Sale. For the next few days only, the area's biggest selection of Brunswick tables are all on sale. Buy a qualifying table today and get a matching billiard rack absolutely free. Save on hundreds of wood bars starting at $2.99. Choose from thousands of bar stools all on sale. Home theater seats as low as $2.99. Save big during the Great Game Room Sale only at the Great Escape. Escape your everyday shop the Great Escape. This weekend, we're giving you something to celebrate. It's the weekend sale at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Save 15% Friday 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Save 10% 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And 8% through Monday. You'll save big on everything in the store. Hurry in, sale ends Monday at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. I'm Denise Austin. A well-balanced diet provides the fuel for exercising and burning fat. A great source of energy is Idaho potatoes. My kids love Idaho potatoes. We make them all the time. They're rich in nutrients with no fat and only 110 calories. And they have more potassium than a banana. But not all potatoes are Idaho potatoes. You have to look for the grown in Idaho seal. So do you want energy? Eat your Idaho potatoes. Shouldn't a savings account make your savings go up? With the ING Direct Orange Savings Account, we pay high interest all the time. There are no minimums, no fees, ever, and no strings attached. Your savings are free to grow a lot faster than they would in an average savings account. If you live life looking up, get the savings account that only goes up. Call 1-800-ING-DIRECT. Open an Orange Savings Account right now. Save your money. Be evil. This 
Friday and Saturday in Value City. It's our huge after Thanksgiving sale. For two days only, take an extra 25% off all fine jewelry, an extra 20% off all shoes and boots, an extra 25% off all kids' outerwear. Plus, get a TV, DVD, VCR for just $149.99. And get Royal Velvet Towels, $16 each elsewhere, now two for $9. That's 25 to 75% off department store prices. Value City. This is ABC 7 News This Morning. Good morning, everyone. Here's a look at the morning's top headlines. Two people are dead as a hostage standoff on the south side comes to a violent end. Also, traffic jams and long, long lines at area stores. Holiday shopping gets off to a very early start. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jose Sanders. And I'm Karen Jordan. And for Judy Sue, welcome to ABC 7 News this morning. Let's begin this half hour with another weather update from Tracy Butler in the Weather Center. Hi, Trace. Hey there. Jose and Karen, good morning to you and good morning to you as well. And if you're up at this very early hour, well, weather is not a big problem at all. If anything, it is going to be an unseasonably mild day around here today. Now, it's 35 degrees currently at O'Hare, 40 at Midway, 42 degrees at the lakefront, 41 degrees right now in Gary. Skies are mainly clear for us this morning, and they are going to stay that way throughout much of this day. So we'll have a look at your complete forecast coming up, plus your Friday fun fact. Let's check in with Tom Johnson and see if it's any fun at all out on the roads, Tom. It's lots of fun out on the roads. It's no fun once you reach the parking lots this morning. A lot of the area shopping areas are just absolutely gridlocked in the parking lot and they need traffic control there. But Chopper 7 HD is flying over 355 by First Avenue and everything's moving extremely well out on our roadways this morning. I want to remind you from that hostage situation yesterday, 69th and Jeffrey CTA has begun running their buses through that area again. Karen, Jose. Tom, thank you. First this half hour, that hostage standoff on Chicago's south side is over, but it's a tragic end to an ordeal that lasted nearly 24 hours. Police say two people are dead and it ended overnight in the 6900 block of South Jeffrey. ABC 7's Charles Thomas is live with the latest. Charles. Karen Jose, during the first 24 hours of this incident, Chicago police told us that they believed and they told us what they believed, that there were two hostages involved in this incident. Now they say there was only one hostage and that she and the gunman are both dead. This has been a trying 24 hours uh, for the families, for the negotiators, uh, for the community, uh, and, and, and just for also our department. The burst of activity happened just after 1 o'clock this morning in front of the apartment building at 69th and Jeffrey. It marked the tragic end to the nearly 24-hour-long hostage standoff. As heavily armed police officers scrambled, paramedics rushed the wounded hostage and suspect to a pair of waiting ambulances. The hostage and gunman were pronounced dead several minutes later. The gunman apparently shot and killed the woman, then allegedly turned the gun on himself. Police insist they did not fire any shots upon entering the building. A SWAT team uh, forced entry into the apartment, and upon entry into the apartment, um, that's when we observed the offender and the victim. The standoff began early Thanksgiving. Uh, the gunman, who lived in a first-floor apartment, allegedly became irritated with a neighbor's crying baby on the second floor. He was armed with a semi-automatic weapon and fired at four people but missed. During the entire standoff, police negotiators were talking to the gunman, trying to convince him to surrender. At one point, they even brought the man's sister to the scene to plead for him to give himself up. Now, police explained that the confusion over the number of hostages was actually born out of the conversations that the negotiators were having with the gunman and the hostage uh, during the first 24 hours of this incident. Uh, Deputy Superintendent uh, Starks would not comment on the mental condition of the gunman. Uh, the department will not release uh, the names of uh, either victim in this case, uh, but we have learned that his name, uh, the suspect, the gunman, is Lance Johnson. We do not know his age, and the woman's family has identified her as 22-year-old Tasha Cooks. Uh, family members also say uh, that uh, she, Miss Cooks, had no relationship with Johnson 
beyond living in the same apartment building that uh, after he had the confrontation in, confrontation initially with the woman and the crying baby uh, that he ran across the hall and simply knocked down the door of Tasha Cooks, went inside and took her hostage. And again, it all ended very tragically about uh, four and a half hours ago. Reporting live from the South Side, Charles Thomas, ABC 7 News. Jose, Karen, back to you. All right, Charles. Such very, a tragedy. It is, definitely. And at this hour, also, Chicago police are questioning a suspect in the stabbing death of a 12-year-old girl on the south side. Police say it began as some kind of argument near 73rd and Claremont last night. That argument turned violent when an 18-year-old woman stabbed the 12-year-old with a knife. The child was rushed to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. The suspect also stabbed a 16-year-old girl in the arm. Charges are now pending. Well, turning now to the morning's other top story, it is the start of the holiday shopping season, the day known as Black Friday, and many shoppers have been at it for hours. This is Shopper 7 HC flying high over Downers Grove right now, and look at the people in front of the Best Buy waiting for the store to open and them to get all those electronic gadgets and so forth. They have been out there for a long time, and that's a scene throughout Chicagoland today. Mm. <laughs> well, some stores opened much earlier. This is what it looked like at Comp USA in Skokie last night. Doors opened from 9 p.m. till midnight. Within a few minutes, one full rack of electronic gadgets wiped out as shoppers fill their baskets and their carts. Hundreds of shoppers who jammed this store were drawn, they say, to those big sales on electronics, computers, accessories, and the software. It's going to be mad rush when they first come in, and people that shop here will know where to go, and people that don't shop here, they'll just be lost. They'll just be spinning. I've been waiting here for two and a half hours. I'm hoping to get some Bluetooth for my family. I'm just waiting in line, hoping to grab a laptop or something. Well, some shoppers actually spent the night camping out. There were long lines at a couple of stores in neighboring Niles. Shoppers brought out their lawn chairs to wait outside the Walmart. The line outside the nearby Best Buy store there just as long. A number of shoppers broke out their sleeping bags, and some gamers actually brought along their video game consoles to try to kill the hours before the doors actually opened. And yes, some of these malls have been open for hours. Many people spent the early morning hours shopping. I-94 along the Illinois Wisconsin border was jammed up overnight as shoppers headed to the prime outlet mall in Pleasant Prairie. Thousands of shoppers headed north to take advantage of the mall's midnight opening and early bird specials. With the mall's parking lot already crowded, shoppers had to sit in traffic along the tri-state. This is Macy's first holiday season in Chicago since taking over Marshall Fields, and some people unhappy about the change plan to let their feelings be known today. They're planning to protest under the famous clock, and the rally is called Give the Lady What She Wants. That phrase is said to have been spoken by Marshall Field more than 120 years ago in response to an employee who wondered whether to refuse a request by a customer. Protesters plan to dress in period clothing from the 1890s. In addition, a website that Fields fan, website called FieldsFansChicago.org is urging people to shop at other department stores this holiday season. One of the longest serving aldermen in City Hall will announce today whether he will seek another term in office. 50th Ward Alderman Bernard Stone will make the announcement this morning on his 79th birthday. Now, if Stone seeks a 10th term, he will face a challenger. Asian American community activist Nancy Dolar is uh, hoping that voters in the diverse far north side ward will want some change. Here's a look at what's ahead on the ABC7 News calendar. UIC, Bradley, and Illinois basketball teams play today at the Chicago Invitational in the new Sears Center and Hoffman Estates. Also, the Art Institute heralds the start of the holiday season with the wreathing of the lions and lighting of the Christmas tree. And this afternoon, the Vienna Choir Boys perform the annual day after Thanksgiving concert at the, the Symphony Center. Also on this day after Thanksgiving, the Chris Kendall Market officially opens in Daly Plaza. The holiday tradition at the plaza features seasonal products that many of which are handcrafted. And there's also German food and drink. And at Daly Plaza as well, the Christmas tree will be lit. Our own Roz Baron will join Mayor Daly and Santa Claus to do the honors just after 5 p.m. The tree is actually made up of more than 100,000. 
30 balsam fir trees. And I saw them piecing it together bit by bit. It's pretty cool how they did it. That's a lot big tree. Well, we will never be able to touch Roz after that, because no. she, she's big time. <laughs> big time lighting the tree and everything. <laughs> and we're here. We're here. <laughs> with, with the fun fact, no less. Yes. <laughs> but can I ask you a question? Uh -huh. And am I, am I missing some bargain, some deal? I mean, I, you, you're talking about all these mm -hmm. people. Are we missing out on something really great here? I'm not missing anything, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, exactly. I'm I curious. Oh, yeah, I mean, there, there are some sales, but I'm just, to me, I mean, that's just me. But I'm just, I can't fight it like that. I think wow. missing wow. sleep is very important. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're so glad you decided to join us, Karen, we for real. Are. We're happy to have you. Yes. <laughs> be here. All right, we're going to have some fun now. Okay. Little trivia, little weather trivia. Uh, what is the warmest temperature we have ever recorded in November? Could it be today's 60 degree forecast high temperature? 68, 74, or 81? Uh, this is something we do every week, Karen. I know you've been here on Fridays before, so you may remember. And you can uh, consult with Jose, or maybe you don't want to. Well, huh. See, I think she always tries to trick us. <laughs> I always go for the trick question, okay. trick answer. I don't know. I don't think it's 81. That's too high. I'm yeah. going with 74. I'll go with that, too. 74. You're going? Yeah. Karen, I said you don't have to go with <laughs> Jose. Oh, I, 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 I know you're a you. guest to the set today, but you don't have to stick with it. <laughs> yeah, 81 wow. degrees. Wow. Really? But it was it was at the beginning of a November, so mm -hmm. that's... <laughs> you, you were probably thinking like today. Yes, probably. right, Tracy. Right? Thank you. <laughs> Trying to justify. Uh, anyway, November 1st, 1950. Yeah, we had made it up to 81 degrees on that date. Well, today, we're not going to get to 81 degrees. This afternoon, we'll be up around 60. Skies are clear this morning. We have a couple chilly spots this morning. But overall, when you look at the statistics, it's going to be fairly mild today because usually we drop to about 28 degrees for a low. So far this morning, we've dropped to only 35. Average high is 43. Now, the record today is 69 degrees. We're not going to get quite that warm, but it is going to be very mild this afternoon. 35, the number right now at O'Hare. South, southeast wind, only about five miles per hour, so wind chill is not a big issue this morning. 30 degrees right now in Joliet, 31 degrees currently in Waukegan. Those skies are clear. Now, there is a cold front that is out to our west, but you know what? This thing is going to really weaken and almost wash out. I think tomorrow I was contemplating a lot of cloud cover. I do think we'll be more partly to mostly cloudy tomorrow, and we'll probably start the day off tomorrow with a little bit of fog. Clear and calm out there this morning. Bright sunshine, another gorgeous afternoon. I've been able to keep that line up just about all week. Tomorrow we are looking at a high of about 57 degrees, 56 degrees here Sunday. We are going to keep it so warm around here until about the middle of next week. And it's almost like we change the page on the calendar and we're gonna change the weather pattern too, as you see that high of 31. Mm. On Thursday, your weather sketcher <laughs> of the day today is Emer Maloney, a student at St. Gerald's School, just eight years <laughs> old. What a great windy picture. <laughs> that is, is good. Really yes, nice. Everything. Mm -hmm. I like how she do the wind. That's yeah, really I know. Sun. I love that. <laughs> good, good, good. Oh. Cool. Let's check in with Tom and find out uh, how bad the traffic is around all the malls this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's pretty bad around there, but we can still give thanks on day two that uh, the roadways are really traveling well this morning. As far as the expressways and tollways are concerned, Chopper 7 HD up over the Hillside Strangler area on the Ike this morning and everything even moving well there. Our travel times are nice and low this morning. As we roll out the numbers for you, you're really going to like these. No problems at all on the Kennedy. We're going to tell you about an O'Hare detour coming up Sunday night a little bit later on. I'm still trying to figure out a good way to explain it. Uh, <laughs> but I'll figure out a way to explain it instead of the three rights and take two lefts. Uh, the uh, Edens right now looks great this morning. No problems on the Eisenhower as you saw from Chopper 7 HD. Stevenson is moving while that earlier crash northbound 55 at Route 53 is all cleared and no residual delays. And if you're rolling in on the Eisenhower, as we mentioned, I, you know, just got to take advantage. Under 7 minutes. So really great on the Eisen or the uh, Ryan this morning. Very heavy around the shopping areas. We're seeing it all over the place from Old Orchard to the Prime Outlet malls to the to the big shopping areas. You can see mm. it usually feel like you get up early when you work this shift, but I have a feeling <laughs> we actually slept in late. You know it, you know it. <laughs> up and down State Street too. These people at Sears. Up and down State mm -hmm. Street. Yeah, the volume of traffic. They're out there. Yeah, they're really. out there in full force this morning. So use a little extra caution as you're driving around. Thanks. 541. When we come back, why the day after Thanksgiving is a big day for plumbers.
Also ahead, the great escape act performed high above Times Square. <laughs> Tracy Butler's Weather Sketcher is brought to you by The Room Place at Harlem Furniture. Great looks for less. Could you use an extra $100? Friday for 14 hours, The Room Place at Harlem Furniture's after Thanksgiving sale gives you an extra $100 off your purchase. Plus, free financing until 2012. Friday only at The Room Place at Harlem Furniture. Get your holiday shopping finished in one day at the Carson's after Thanksgiving sale. Start by checking Thursday's paper for a $10 gift card good on Friday from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. Carson's. Even the price looks nice. Pop quiz. What compact sedan gets up to 34 miles per gallon, has more power and space than Corolla, and starts at just $13,775? Is it A, the Kia Spectra, B, the Kia Spectra, C, the Kia Spectra, or D, all of the above? Correct! You pick the Kia Spectra, and with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty, there really is no other choice. Hurry in and get 1,500 cash back on the award-winning Kia Spectra, the best value on the road. With doorbusters like these, you'll have lots of reasons to be thankful at the Carson's after Thanksgiving sale. Doors open Friday at 5 a.m., with doorbusters good from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. Carson's, even the price looks nice. Could you use an extra $100? Friday, for 14 hours, the room place at Harlem Furniture's after Thanksgiving sale gives you an extra $100 off your purchase, plus free financing until 2012. Friday only at the room place at Harlem Furniture. Well, you'll be happy to know that David Blaine is free right now after his latest stop. The magician hovered 40 feet over New York's Times Square, shackled inside a spinning gyroscope. Blaine freed himself from that contraption yesterday afternoon. He'd been flipped in every direction as many as eight times per minute for 52 straight hours. Today, Blaine will lead 100 families chosen by the Salvation Army on a shopping spree at Target, which actually coincidentally sponsor if that's that. <laughs> well, let's see how the morning's finances are going. With our Money Scope report, here's ABC's Howard Shinivasan. Good morning. Here's this morning's Money Scope report. Retailers in Wall Street have their eyes on the cash registers today. They'll be keeping close watch on today's sales numbers and getting a feel for consumer confidence this holiday season in the process. But while Black Friday gets all the hype, it's the home stretch between now and the end of the year which matters most. An added bonus for retailers this year is that Christmas falls on a Monday. MasterCard Advisors is predicting Saturday the 23rd will be the busiest shopping day ever. And if you're one of the roughly 20% of Americans expected to buy a flat panel TV, you'll want to tune in to Good Morning America. Find out what you need to know to get the best deal. It's not just a big day for shopping, it's also the busiest day of the year for plumbers. Roto-Rooter says calls usually jump about 50% the day after Thanksgiving as homeowners deal with backed up sinks and other plumbing problems. One tip they offer, don't pour grease down the drain. And that is this morning's Money Scope Report. I'm Hari Srinivasan. And time now is 544. We're going to check with weather and traffic after break. Then at 6 o'clock, a musical treat. The incredible guitar music of Muriel Anderson, right here live. This morning's Money Scope Report brought to you by Kleenex Antiviral Tissues. Good oral health is part of your overall health. Philips Sonicare. Sonicare improves your oral health. Its patented sonic technology creates dynamic cleaning action, getting deep between the teeth and along the gum line for a healthier mouth guaranteed. It makes sense Sonicare is the power toothbrush brand most used and recommended by dental professionals. Sonicare, simplicity is brushing your teeth and taking care of your body. Childhood quickly flies away like cookies on a plate. So let us bake some more today. And maybe time will wait. Now you can brighten the day by bringing the drizzle inside. Introducing new Nestle Toll House drizzles. Cookies you top with rich chocolate or creamy caramel drizzles. New Nestle Toll House drizzles. Bake the very best. If you have moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis, your vocabulary may change. I've got my enthusiasm back. I'm enjoying things again. And it's because of Enbro. 
Even with RA, my energy's back. For real patients like these, Enbrel has been proven to reduce the pain, stiffness, and fatigue of moderate to severe RA and kept joint damage from getting worse. Enbrel may lower your ability to fight infections such as an open sore or the flu, so don't start it if you have one. Tell your doctor if you're prone to them or if you've been treated for heart failure or if you experience persistent fever, bruising, bleeding, or paleness while on Enbrel. Serious, sometimes fatal events, including infections, lymphoma, nervous system, and blood disorders have occurred. Common side effects included injection site reaction, infection, and headache. I never envisioned doing this again. Envision your possibilities. Ask your rheumatologist about prescription and brol. It is 547 temperature at O'Hare right now, 35 degrees. It's 42 at the lakefront, 40 degrees at Midway. We have some shoppers standing outside our State Street studio this morning waiting for some spots to open. Now today we're looking at high temperatures around 60 degrees. We'll see partly to mostly cloudy skies here tomorrow and a high temperature of about 57 degrees. Let's check in with Tom now. Good morning. Yesterday, of course, the big event was the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Tonight, it'll be the big Christmas tree lighting down at Daly Plaza. They'll shut down Washington Street around 5 o'clock for that. Let's go out to Chopper 7 HD right now. They're over the Ike Pulling Patrol. Lots of headlights out there this morning. Most people headed to shopping areas. No major delays on the tollways or expressways this morning. Karen, Jose. All right, Tom, thank you very much for that. And heading into a break, the time now is 548. When we come back, one of the busiest shopping days of the year. How much will Chicago area shoppers spend this holiday season? The answer after the break. You can store all this at public storage and pay just $1 for the first month's rent. You can store all this at public storage and still pay just $1 for the first month's rent. You can even store all this at public storage and still pay just $1 for the first month's rent. Call 1-800-44-STORE now. Offer ends soon. Winter is right around the corner. Fortunately, so is your local Audi dealer. At the Quattro Winter Event, you can find exceptional values on select Audi models, each available with race-proven and weather-proven Quattro all-wheel drive. Get ready for winter. The all-new Audi Q7, the SUV from the creator of Quattro. Take a test drive at your local Audi dealer today. It's trade-in time at Walter E. Smith Furniture, where your old furniture is worth money. Right now, you can trade in your old furniture toward new furniture from Walter E. Smith. Get $200 for your old sofa, $80 for a chair, $200 for your dining room table, and your new furniture will arrive in time for the holidays. And during our trade-in sale, we'll even haul your old furniture away for free. Out with the old, in with the new. Sale ends November 30th. I'm ABC 7's Phil Schwartz with a tip to help you save on your energy bill this winter. Keep your thermostat at 66 to 68 degrees if comfortable to you and lower it when you sleep or leave home to save energy. For more energy saving tips, visit CometCare.com. Well, the holiday shopping season kicks off with Black Friday. Thousands of shoppers who haven't already hit the stores will be doing so later today. But just where will Chicago area shoppers actually spend those holiday dollars? To tell us more about Chicago shopping trends, we're joined in the studio today by John Salata with Deloitte and Touche Sources. We are glad to have you with us, sir. Good morning, Jose. Now, people are getting ready to shop, shop, shop. <laughs> yes, they are. What kind of mood are Chicago shoppers actually in this year? We just took a survey of 13,000 consumers nationally and 500 here in Chicago. Uh, what we found is consumers are in a very upbeat mood, uh, very optimistic about the economy and their own financial health. Two out of three of them told us they feel good about the economy going, going into next year. Four out of five said they're very secure in their jobs. Uh, and 72% said they plan to spend the same or more this year as compared to last year. 
All three of those indicators are up considerably over last year. So we expect that coupled with the falling gas prices, the low unemployment, uh, as well as consumer confidence being at a 12 month high, uh, we expect retail sales to be at the high end of the range of growth this year. We're predicting a 7% uh, growth this November through January. Wow, why are we yes. so optimistic here in Chicago? Well, uh, as I said, Chicagoans are feeling good about their own uh, pocketbooks, and uh, when they feel good, they spend. They spend so, right. you know, the question uh, the question we asked is, where will you spend? Yeah, exactly. Where will you spend your money? Uh, interestingly, the time pressures on people uh, over the past few years are creating uh, a need for people to shop in fewer stores. They're making mm -hmm. fewer trips to the malls. Uh, to spend their dollars uh, and and what we're seeing is consumers flocking to the discount stores yeah. 71 percent of them said they would do some or part of their holiday shopping uh, at the discount stores uh, in addition they're going online 70 percent of people this year will shop online it's easy it's convenient uh, and you can avoid the crowds and it's hassle free wow so do we have any idea just about how much we're going to be spending? <laughs> well, we asked consumers how much they're spending. Uh, on average, this holiday, they said they'd spend about $1,165. Uh, this is uh, considerably higher than the national average, about 6% higher. Uh, most categories uh, are showing an increase. Uh, the one negative uh, in, the, in the survey this year was the softness in housing. Uh, we would expect home improvement stores not to fare as well this year, but uh, the apparel stores, consumer electronics, and other selling gifts will have a fabulous holiday season. Good time for retailers then, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> What's the hot gifts? I know this is the time we always look at that. Absolutely. Well, this year, uh, the top three gifts in our survey for kids, it was the Elmo. Of course. Uh, for, <laughs> for teenagers and adults, they, they want the iPod and the PlayStation. Uh, good luck getting these hot <laughs> gifts. Uh, I saw online yesterday uh, one of the toy stores off offered 15 uh, must-have gifts. They were out of stock in five of them this year. So uh, the retailers are adept at marketing these things. Uh, they will be in stores before the holidays are over. Well, we <laughs> wish everybody luck. Absolutely. <laughs> well, uh, good. You, you saw the lines. I'm uh, telling you. The, the traffic to the malls, the store, it's, it's crazy this year. And so that's an uh, the weather's great. Downtown shopping should be fabulous today. And uh, after they uh, finish up at the outlet malls, they'll be downtown. Oh, so brace yourself for that. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for coming in with us. Thank you. Happy holidays to Happy you. Happy holidays to you. Thank <laughs> we'll you be back after this.